<laughs> okay, so this is just a quick video to do a recap of what happened when I was in Los Angeles. My first encounter with some hobbits. I'm super duper excited about this story. Um, I'll probably start giggling quite a bit. So, anyway, um, it started off in Portland. I left there. I left Comic Con, Wizard Con, whatever, and flew out to Los Angeles. Stayed at the airport for about two hours with my phone charge, and then took a cab out to the venue. Saw some pretty cool artists before Bee Cake and the end of the last member set. Boston! Shh! <laughs> Sorry, kitty. Boston! Don't do that. So, anyway. Um, by the end of their set, I was starting to shake and freak out. I didn't do this around Norman Reese and Sean Patrick Flannery earlier because this, that was the, my third time meeting them, so I was like, yeah, we're like friends. Not really, but I could act like that. Okay. So this was my first encounter with some hobbits. So I was like, my heart was just beating out of my chest. I was freaking out. Anybody who was on Twitter at that moment in time probably wanted to kill me because I'm like, but um, they finish the set, they take their stuff out, and I'm just like sitting there waiting. I'm like, they're gonna be walking right in front of me, and I see somebody walk by, and I'm like, I think I know who that is. And then I see Billy come walking by, and I just, <laughs> just started shaking. I'm like, do I talk to him? Do I talk to him? What do I do? So he comes walking back in, and I'm just like, Billy. He's like, oh, hey, how can I help you? <laughs> it's a terrible accent impersonation. Anyway, so, um, I walk up to him and I hand him a box of Voodoo Donuts because I had messaged them on Facebook and said, you know, if I bring you guys a box, you guys have to play my favorite song or consider it. And Paul had responded, lost in, <laughs> saying if I did bring them that they would consider it. So um, I handed them to him and he was like, oh, can I, can I get them off of the sit? I said, well, I guess. I don't really and he's like, looks at him he's like, Hmm, I think I'll take these Vic stage. Sorry, I'm trying to do the accent. It sucks so bad. <laughs> so, he takes them and I'm just like dying. Oh yeah, and I asked him for a hug and he gave me like the biggest bear hug ever. And he was just so cute. So, I mean, he's four inches taller than me. He's tiny and so it was, it's fun to hug somebody who's the same size as me. So, demon cat. <laughs> So, um, I'm waiting for them to start, and a friend of mine who was supposed to meet up with me at the show texts me, and he's like, dude, your homeboy's back here, and I'm, like, freaking out, because anybody who knows me knows I love Billy and Dom. It's not just Dom, it's not just Billy, I love them both. So I'm like, oh, I've got to go back there, and I had made Dom a t-shirt, a custom BK t-shirt, I'm like, I've got to get it to him. So I go flying back there, and I've got my big turtle shell on, and... I just probably look like the biggest doofus. So I'm like, where is he? And he's like, he's over there. So I'm like, do I do it? Do I do it? Do I do it? Do I do it? I'm getting nervous. I'm really shaky just thinking about it. So I like walk over, I like tiptoe over, and I'm like, I'm so sorry to interrupt. He was talking to a friend of his. And he's like, oh, hey, what's up? Being all cute. And I'm like, I'm so sorry to bug you. I'm like, but I brought you a gift. And he's like, how did you know I was going to be here? I'm like, Billy's your best friend, of course. And he's like, my best friend. And he and the guy look at each other and like, Billy? And they like, kind of peek their heads back looking on stage. They're like, Greg? Glenn? <laughs> Just making up names. And I was hysterical. And I felt so stupid. And I think you kind of tell. So he like, set his drink down. And he like, walks over, kind of pulls me aside. And I pull out this stuff. And I give it to him. And I give him a letter. It was basically a letter thanking him about him helping me get over my fear of bugs, and I totally fangirled out, I was just like, I just want to tell you that I'm like completely obsessed with Dom's wild things, and his eyes just went, Poof. like, he could make his eyes go big and go like big, and you could just tell he was like so excited, and I mean, you know, told him, I told him, thanks for helping me get over my fear of bugs, and I said that next week I was going to be holding a tarantula, and um, was like, nervous just like thinking he'd be like oh that's cool but he was so excited and he grabs my hands and he's like you need to hold your hands like this and 
I need to relax, and so I have my hands like this, and he's like, and then the spider is gonna crawl on your hands, and you gotta stay relaxed, and talking to me about the venom of the spider, and I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't 100% paying attention because I was trying so hard to just stay the other side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the me on the inside. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Freaking out. So he's like, this was like, talking to me like this because it was loud in the club and he's just staying right here in eye contact. Not like looking around. He's looking at me and, oh yeah, and he had asked what my name was and he was just staring at me like, I was having a full-blown conversation with him about bugs and spiders and he's and I'm like just how do you dare do that kind of stuff like you know, and he's like you know you have to do it for the show and talking to me about the ratings of the show and I told him about um how it's a 45 minute drive home from school every day and that I make it in 30 minutes to make it in time to see the second showing of the show and he's like well you know it's it's on Thursdays too and I'm like oh I have school then too so he's like oh keep watching it Tuesdays then I'm like of course they will. <laughs> so, and then I'm talking to him, I'm like, how do you stay brave? And he's just like, you just have to, and stuff. And I grabbed his arm on accident, and he kind of looked down, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to touch you. <laughs> and he just played it off like it was nothing. And then he, um, oh yeah, and I forgot, and I got a big hug from him. And, oh, it was lovely. Very lovely. So, I'm sorry, I'm rambling, I'm seeing it's at six minutes, almost seven minutes. But... I'm gonna finish the story anyway. <laughs> so, he was just super cute. I mean, we talked for a little while and just telling me just different stuff about bugs and stuff like that and, and telling him that he's crazy and but I didn't care. I mean, I'll admit, it hasn't been that long that I've been in love with Billy and Dom, but it's been really crazy in love. And so being in his face, like right here, and I was like... <laughs> I literally thought this. This is no joke. Because he's right here. I'm like, do not grab his face. Do not grab his face. It took everything in my power not just be like, Peter. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that much of a freak, but you know, when you're in love with, well, in love, you're crazy about somebody and they're in your face talking to you and you've just fangirled about him for quite a while and. I don't know how I held it together, but in the process of trying to stay together, I didn't ask him for a picture, and I mean, I guess he probably appreciated that, that I wasn't that annoying, but he didn't seem annoyed at all, and it was super cute, and he smelled really good, and his hug was really nice, and... <laughs> so anyway, before I had gone back to talk to Dom, I said to Billy that I had flown in for the show, and I asked him if they could play this happening, because that is my favorite Bee Cake song, is my jam. So, <laughs> he's like, it's, it's all on the playlist, but, I mean, we'll, we'll do the best we can. I'm really sucking at this, but I, it's fun to try and do it next time. So, um, I have the audio of it. I'll have to send it. Um, but he... Busted. So, it's the second to last song. He's like, oh, this is our last song, and what did they say? It was something along the lines of, um... It's like a girl came up to me and she said that she flew in from the show and she didn't say where she flew in from and I'm in the front and I'm like, Portland! And he's like, from where? And I said, Portland. And he's like, I have no idea where that even is. So, hi boss. So, they're like, well, she really wanted to hear this song. So, we're going to play it. And I said, thank you. And he's like, well, she has a very lovely voice. And everyone laughs and he's like, it sounds like she's in a box. And then everybody laughs again, like, maybe she is. So they played the song, and I freaked out. I was so happy, and I was so excited, because that's my favorite Bee Cake song. And that's why I went to see, and they played it for me. So that was, like, ultimate moment. Billy Boyd played a song for me. So, <gasps> and, um, after the show, somebody, he pointed at somebody, like, you're my favorite person. And then he points at me, and he's like, you're my favorite person in a box. <laughs> so if you see it on Twitter, on my header, it says, favorite Billy Boy or Billy Boyd's favorite person in a box so but I mean after I um was waiting in line to see Billy because I had a shirt for him as well and this this little guy just wee little hobbit size I'm sorry I don't mean to make the 
pun reference. He just kept looking at me. Just kept looking at me and I'm like looking at him like who's this guy who keeps staring at me? So as I'm just standing there he just walks up to me and he just right in the face again. It must be common for the UK for people to be up in your face like this. And he's like where are my donuts? And I'm like oh my gosh this is that Paul dude. This is the guy from Bee Cake. And because where I was standing from the stage he was the only person who I couldn't see. He was like blocked so I didn't see him. I know. Terrible fan. So we talked for like 10, 15 minutes maybe. I don't know. And we're just talking about the show and talking about, you know, how I flew in for the show and all that stuff. And he, I don't even remember what we were talking about. Just random, random stuff. And I was telling him he's got to send me his response to be like, donuts. He hasn't yet. So, a little turd. But he did say that they were all excited to get the donuts and they were all fasting for them. <laughs> but all in all, it was seriously amazing. Like, the main reason why I went it happened so yeah that was my experience on Saturday so that is it was pretty fun and I left the show my friend took me to dinner and then we went out to Santa Monica Pier and then I went to the airport and flew back to Portland and then just got home to Salt Lake this afternoon so yeah all of the the fun at con in LA I hate to say it but best weekend ever Midas Mary wasn't there. So, anyway, I hope this story makes up for me not texting you because I thought it would be better for you to hear the reaction this way. So, if anybody else happens to see this, I hope they enjoy my monoboid story because it's really embarrassing but it's really funny. So, anyway, peace out. I'm gonna go upload some pictures and some bee cake songs and go to bed.